Well, folks, we have some interesting news today surrounding the Nintendo Switch 2. When we say news, obviously we're getting into some of the reports and rumors that are floating out there in regards to the kind of support Nintendo Switch 2 is going to see and how excited developers apparently are in regards to the platform. Now, before we dive into this, because we've got three or four different places we got to look at, for this video, I want to remind you folks that we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So if you're enjoying the content, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and first get over to this article that cropped up last week over at Kotaku. The actual source, by the way, is Windows Central, but their report is extremely long-winded to get to what we really care about. So we're going to go to Kotaku's breakdown here. It says, report Microsoft CEO wants more Xbox games on PlayStation 5 and Switch. New reporting claims that even big games, possibly from franchises like Halo, could become multi-platform. So... It says new reporting claims that Microsoft CEO is pushing all of its divisions to make more money and put pressure on Xbox to publish more of its games from some of its biggest franchises on PlayStation and Switch, leading to internal debates and unease. Earlier this year, reports surfaced that Xbox was planning to bring some of its previously Xbox exclusive games to other consoles. And we've already went over some of that stuff, right? That story ended up happening. However, New reports, as it says right here, seem to indicate that moving forward, even some of Xbox's biggest games and franchises might be playable on PlayStation 5 one day. On May 15th, Windows Central posted an in-depth report about the state of Microsoft. In that report, it's claimed that Microsoft CEO Satya Nadala has been pushing the Xbox division and its leaders to bring more Xbox-only games to other platforms. Internally, the plan is reportedly called Operation Latitude, and Nadella has made it clear that all Xbox games and franchises should be considered. According to Windows Central, these plans have led to unease among Xbox staff and internal debates about what games should and shouldn't get ported. A separate report from Eurogamer claims that numerous other games are currently being considered in Xbox's multi-platform plans, including entries in the company's largest franchises. Kotaku did content at Microsoft and Xbox for comment. None of this outright confirms that Halo or Gears of War will soon be showing up on PlayStation 5 or Nintendo Switch, but Xbox doesn't have that many big franchises. Uh, at least they didn't before all these acquisitions, that is. And if I were a CEO trying to squeeze more dollars out of the brand, I might be looking to port Halo Infinite Gears 5 to PlayStation 5, maybe even Forza Horizon 5 too. We're entering some strange times, folks. Now, this is already a really big story in that of itself. Uh, to be clear, there's some fascinating stuff going on at Microsoft. And what's really interesting about this and getting some of these biggest franchises is they're not just looking at coming to PlayStation and they're not just looking at Switch. Obviously, this will have to do with Nintendo's next platform as well. We already know the Call of Duty contract exists. So we got 10 years of Call of Duty games coming. But I do find it fascinating that Microsoft's really from the tippity top of the company. I think this had to do with, hey, they're board approved you spending $70 billion on Activision Blizzard King. We now want to make some money. We're not okay with this division not making tons of money anymore, and they think the best way to do that is to bring their franchises to where most of the gamers exist, which is obviously PC. They're already there. But yes, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and probably Nintendo's next platform. So I think this is pretty exciting stuff, and I think it does set a nice precedent for the potential future of what's going to be happening with Switch 2. But the thing is, that's cool, and that's a really in-depth report, and we'll link to the original article as well as Kotaku's breakdown if you guys want to go check those out. But what if I told you guys that even I have heard some things from a couple of my developer friends. Now, you guys might know I actually have three. I've said this before. I literally can count them on one hand. I have three individual developer friends that are actual game developers that work at three different companies. And one of them told me something very interesting this morning. And I happened to go ahead and put this on X. Didn't really think it was that big of a deal, but some people think it is. And we're going to actually show you that this isn't new news, but it is something that is fun to talk about. Uh, you see here where I said, talked to a developer friend of mine a moment ago. This was early this morning. Was just catching up, and they mentioned Switch 2. It seems a lot of developers seem to be impressed by what this system is capable of. I didn't, out of respect, dig for exact information, but was told to not be surprised when nearly everything cross-platform, and this meant multi-platform in this case, is there. It's apparently very easy to work with. 
This is the second time a developer friend has told me this. I think they are just eager for this system to finally come out as we are. And look, guys, I find this to be really interesting because I don't have any additional information other than what was in that tweet. Yes, I, this is the second time I've been told. This is why I felt like it was worth bringing up and talking about. But this isn't the only time we've heard that developers are excited about this platform, planning to bring stuff to the platform. They expect support to be really, really big. Look over here at friend of the channel, Paul Gale Network, who says, a friend that works at a third party told me the difference in dev kit excitement slash working on Nintendo's next system, and this is in comparison to the current, is night and day to how they approach Nintendo Switch. There's nothing else beyond that. He goes on to hypothesize. Uh, this likely speaks true for multiple studios. It was where Wii U left companies less than optimistic on how well Nintendo NX and Nintendo Switch would perform. And as a result, not everyone had titles ready immediately. They had to port later. Nintendo has built such a high quality ecosystem with Nintendo Switch that whatever its successor is, is being highly welcomed. Good third-party faith in Nintendo's next platform is great to hear. Nintendo's software output per generation never misses. They always deliver. Managing tight relationships and satisfying indies and third parties, including said folks, enjoying their sales, more moving parts. I'm very much so looking forward to when Nintendo eventually reveals their next console. I think we're in for a major treat. And this was said all the way back on September 19th, 2023. And just to add further to this, because, you know, hey, Paul Gale's a friend of the channel, so you might go, well, maybe you guys are in collusion on some stuff. Well, how about this independent report coming from insider gaming writer Tom Henderson? said this as well last September, September 30th, a couple weeks after Paul Gale, by the way, said, really excited for the Nintendo Switch 2 and its tech. We'll see launching on Xbox Series X slash S, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch 2, and PC, a heck of a lot in 12 to 18 months. And it says, time, your PS5 redesigned September launch age like milk. He says, when you're reporting on something 12 months out, in an industry that is subject to rigorous changes and delays, it happens. What I find really fascinating, though, is Tom Henderson's been hitting on like 63 or of his last 64 reports. It's some sort of insane number. Tom Henderson here is really, really indicating here that, hey, this is what he's hearing from developers. He's hearing a bunch of games are coming to Switch 2 and that he's really excited about this. And this just builds on top of what I heard as well. Again, developers are really, really excited. So while Microsoft might be being forced into bringing games to Switch and Switch 2 and PlayStation 5 because, well, their corporate heads literally want to make money now that they spent $70 billion, when it comes to other companies that aren't being twisted and aren't being forced into doing certain things, it turns out a lot of companies just seem to be excited. Again, I, I only two of my three developer friends have talked to me about this. My third has no idea what's going on with the Nintendo Switch 2. I asked them directly and they're not on the team that's working on a game for it. They're aware there's a dev kit in their studio, but that's about it. So there's no additional information there. And no, I don't have any additional information on dev kits, the power of the system, the exact specs or any of this stuff to verify the rumors and reports out there. None of that, because as I said in my original tweet, out of respect, I decided not to ask any specific details like that. Because again, I don't want people to get in trouble. Maybe once Nintendo reveals the system and they give us a whole bunch of um, you know ideas of how powerful it is and stuff, at that point, it might be good to get some exact information. But right now, I just don't feel is appropriate. Now, if they want to forthright hand that information to me without asking, that's up to them. But this was just part of a casual conversation where all we were doing was catching up in life. We were talking about the kids and a whole bunch of other stuff. And this just kind of came up because he knows what I do as a content creator. And yes, I was given permission uh, to mention this little tidbit, mostly because, hey, this little tidbit's already existed out there from other people. So it's not technically new news. It's just reaffirmation that more third-party companies are excited, more developers are excited, and it just seems like everything is lining up for Nintendo Switch 2 to please the development people. Now, will it please the fan base? Are you going to be excited? Am I going to be excited? Are we going to love what they're doing? Is Nintendo going to deliver the goods? Like, I think they will, but we don't know because we haven't seen a single Switch 2 game yet, at least officially. I don't know. So this is where I just really throw this out to you guys. What do you think about this entire situation? Are you pretty excited? Does this sound good to you? I know this isn't, you know, like big breaking stuff, but it is what matters most, right? We could talk about specs. We could talk about 
all this other stuff. But the games are what matter most. So developers being excited, a lot of third party support coming in. Microsoft may be having their arm twisted, but them also showing support as well. All of this is just really positive things for the actual platform. And the fact that they seem to be excited about the development environment of the platform, that to me is maybe one of the more fascinating aspects of all of this. So we're just gonna leave things at that. Uh, we'll be live streaming tonight as well if you guys wanna stop by at 8 p.m. Central Time, roughly around there. Uh, ask some questions or whatever else you wanna talk about. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.